McCray Manozo has been working at the LF poultry farm in Hammond's Kraal, just outside the capital, Pretoria, for seven years. He says the facility has never had to deal with bird flu, largely because it adheres to strict sanitary and security measures to keep their flocks safe. I never had that situation here, but uh, most of the time, always, uh, I have to disinfect myself. Even once I finish cleaning the cages, I have to mop the cage before I put sawdust. I have to mop, and that water I must make sure that I have to put viral kill. After mopping, then once it gets dry, then it's where I used to transfer to bring the chicken there, putting sawdust. Bird flu outbreaks have become an all too regular occurrence in South Africa, affecting hundreds of poultry farms around the country. Last year, over nine and a half million chickens were lost in the country's worst ever such outbreak. The uncertainty is placing a sheer strain on individual farmers and the industry as a whole. There's nowhere to find the chicken. Like the past two years, the, the chicks were very scarce. It was even empty here. We were ju just waiting because they said they saw the problem that the, there's a lot of disease on the eggs and, and chicks and chickens. That is why we have to be careful, very careful right now well, as we find this other chicken to make sure that they are alive. The government published stringent guidelines for voluntary avian flu vaccinations, but to date, not one company has met the requirements. What is blocking the progress in terms of um, starting to vaccinate is that we need to first approve the farms um, considering the biosecurity measures that would be on those farms, as well as the surveillance that's going to be put uh, on those farms. Experts say the poultry industry will continue to be at risk of future outbreaks until there's some serious movement on ramping up vaccine coverage. Currently, vaccines for the H5 strain that's better suited for coastal regions are available, but there's nothing yet for the H7 strain. In the meantime, producers will have to work towards government vaccine approval before they can protect themselves.